Well, super yacht with the helicopter on the top. <laughs> it's all slimy and it keeps groaning. Have a look up there. Cheers. We've arrived in Bristol. Uh, Wednesday morning. Just had a slow cruise down from where we'd moored. Nice busy location with the um, canal side tea rooms. Just come to the first lock of the day um, to get it ready for Michael. It looks to be a bit of uh, chaos going on. For some strange reason, um, this blue boat's been pulled into the lock on a rope. Um, the engine's still going, so I don't understand why they're trying to pull it into the lock. And now there's a guy on top of the boat um, using a boat hook to, um, oh, weird, to try and push the, pull the boat into the lock. I might be wrong. I really don't think there's anything wrong with the engine, but this is really not a safe way to get a boat into a lock. You'd be pleased to know that they got in the lock okay. They were newbies um, and a bit inexperienced, but there was plenty of people around to, uh, to give them some guidance and help. So all was well in the end. Might buy some uh, the beach all locally grown. Yeah, I grow it all. Um, some of it's 500 meters away. Oh right! Oh wow! It, it's about 15 minute cycle. So I do it all on cargo bicycle. Oh, do you? With all the crates. So. Um, we moored last night at the uh, place called the Trossachs, which is just at the top of all the six. Bath, bath locks. Um, nice peaceful night. Um, we'd been out for uh, some food, We've got some chores to do, um, need to do some laundry which is essential and have a look around Bath, look at the sights. Um, so come with us and uh, see what we can see. This is the Pulteney Bridge coffee shop, which we're going to try and get into maybe tomorrow um, because it's the uh, seats overlook the Weir and the River Avon um, and it's, it's really good. Um, and they've also got some beautiful looking cakes in there as well. now on my third or fourth trip to the Apple Store just to try and get um, my la uh, MacBook Air set up correctly um, have an external hard drive so I've got enough space to create all the um, or keep all the video footage that we're doing um, it's, um, it's been quite challenging doing this vlog um, so uh, we're enjoying it but uh, yeah it's really challenging um, I think they're probably getting fed up with me in this Apple Store but they're really good very very helpful very knowledgeable as you'd expect them to be um, so I'm now just going for a coffee Morning. It's Saturday morning. We're just about to leave Bath. Um, it's just started to spit with rain, which is great timing. Um, I'm not feeling it this morning. I always get really nervous when we've not cruised for a few days or when we're about to go onto a river and we're about to go onto a river. Um, and until we get there and I see it, I'm not feeling the love. But anyway, I'm also having a really bad hair day. <laughs> Don't look. <laughs> First obstacle of the day, the bath tunnel. It's very short. There we are, Michael's coming through. Just keep my eye open on anything coming from the other direction. We're safely through. <laughs> There's a hire boat in the lock with us, which you can probably just see. So they're gonna come through the next lock and then wind. Um, so I've just run down to get this next lock prepared. 
third lock of the day just filling up. Previous lock where we're still coming down in the lock and there's just chaos with voters and lock keepers or volunteer lock keepers. So that was taking the boat through Bath Deep Lock, which is the uh, second deepest lock in the UK, um, about 19 foot three deep. Before we had Border Riva, um, we in fact had a boat in uh, Holland and we bought a boat in Holland and we took it to France where we lived on it for three years. Um, we took the boat uh, from Rotterdam in Holland through Belgium, Antwerp and we spent three years on it in the uh, Burgundy region of France. Our route from Holland took us through Belgium and we went through a particularly deep lock that I remember at the time scared us both to death. <laughs> the lock was Itra Lock um, and it's near Charlois in Belgium and it's in fact 42 feet deep. It's used by the uh, commercial traffic fuel barges and uh, small container ships and so on and so forth. So we just thought we'd, um, we've got some footage, we just thought we'd drop it into the video and see, let have a look at our trip through Itchalock. It's only a short piece of footage. Please excuse the, the quality of the footage because we didn't have the camera equipment we have now, but um, hopefully you like the clip. There's a green light, there's a red light at the end, so we wait for that. So that was our adventure going through Itra Lock in Belgium. Um, we said at the time we just couldn't believe that we were the only boat in the lock and the massive amount of water that was having to be moved around just for us. Um, it was a great experience, definitely. Yeah, it's not something they do here in this country that they would preserve water a little bit more. It didn't seem to matter too much in Belgium and France, but uh, yeah, it was a great adventure. We loved it. So back to going through the last lock in Bath. Last lock of the six through Bath. Mm. Very physical from a lock um, operation point of view. I feel like I've just done about three hours in the gym after that.
This morning I shall clear a lot as I need To see the horizon and the far Excuses were two for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my Morning. We're uh, heading into Bristol today, right to the centre of the harbour, just on the final stretch of the um, river before we get to the tidal section at Neatham Lock. Um, it should take us maybe about another four to five minutes. It's quite narrow. Um, I'm quite surprised how narrow it is, and at the edges it's quite shallow. Um, yeah, quite shallow. <laughs> anyway, it's it's lovely, um, picturesque, quite quiet. Um, having said that, there's a canoe is coming, so I'm just going to pay attention. So we're going into Bristol today, what are you looking forward to? Just having a look, I think it's quite a relaxed place to be, um, quite hip should I say that. And just looking forward to exploring maybe some independent shops as well, maybe have some nice food tonight. Um, and um, just soaking up the atmosphere of having the boat in the harbour. Let's see, what, let's see what it's got to offer. Yeah, I think it's quite a trendy place um, from what I've read. Um, so, the sun's been there, he said it was grey. Um, and he's a bit of a young, trendy person, so we might we might stand out a bit when we go there. But. Is that a smile? I think it was. <laughs> Beyond the, beyond the thing that's sticking up? Yeah, that's, yeah. Well, around there, yeah, that's the guideline for the bridge. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh. How's your journey go coming down the road? Yeah, good. Beautiful. So we've made it to Neatham Lock. This is the lock. We thought it was going to be um, closed, and we had to, he had to let us through. But it's just at the moment it's like a stop lock, um, and they obviously only t uh, close the gates at, when the tide comes in. And it says here that the gates are closing for the tide at nine o'clock tonight. So clearly that's when the high tide occurs. See, there's like um, a white pole above the boat and that is the height restriction for getting into the harbour area which is opposite SS Great Britain which is what we'd like to do I think we'd like to go there um, so you can see that we're going to clear by quite a long way even if we leave the chimney up which is good that was a good cruise down from our overnight mooring Already, I just need to tie the front of the boat up a little bit better. Michael's gone inside to um, see the harbour master and he will pay our fee for the two days and get any instructions on anything else that we need to do. Oh, nearly tripped over a bollard there. <laughs> Let's put the camera down before I have an accident. Here's Michael back from visiting the harbour master. He's got his map in hand hopefully is a permit to go and moor in the basin for two days. Well, our stuff, we've got our river pass, so we've got to put on the port side on the other side, and we've got a map of Bristol, and we've been told where to go. We're going to go more near the SS Great Britain, so we to it. Excellent.
our abilities. <laughs> This is the low bridge that we've been measured for um, back at uh, Neatham Lock. It always looks a lot lower when you're approaching it. What we've got to gauge is, is it as low as Stratford? Again, it's a Stratford Basin and I don't think it is, no. I'm going to have to duck my head though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am going to have to duck my head. Yeah. Yep, that's low. Certainly it looks like he's coming straight for us, but I don't think he is. Oh yeah, I'm all feeling. It does look really nice. Ooh. I wonder if it moves. It might do. Maybe not. Harbour Master coming round on his speedboat. And then in front, Hopefully you can just get a view of the um, well, super yacht with the helicopter on the top. <laughs> If you're whispering, I can't hear a thing. Oh. Where are we I can't hear what you're saying. Where are we signing? Just look for the fleet. Right, but you need to come. You're not on a fleet. No, no. I can go around that ladder. You can't go around the ladder. I go forwards then. Am I as far back? I'm fine, because I'll spring as well. These are our neighbours. Oh, well then, oi! No, go on. Off you go. Go on, shoot. We've arrived in Bristol. Cheers. Cheers.